Deforestation contributes about 20% of the total greenhouse effect. 30 million hectares of forests are being cut every year. This is the leftovers. Oh my god! What can we do with these papers? According to the World Counts, 127 million papers are being produced this year so far. That equals to 60,000 trees being cut this year. According to www.world.com, by 2030, we are expected to double this number. Based on the information and facts that we gather, our company decided to take action. We develop. Oh, thank you. Kasiku, kayu sing kuat. Kasiku comes in the form of a timber-like product, but not wood. This can substitute the use of wood in housing construction or furniture making. Kasiku is made mostly out of leftover paper, formed into the pulp by mixing it with water. Dry pulp is very fragile and is unable to hold still if pressure is given. Which is why during the wilt pulp mixture, we decided to mix in calcium carbonate with 1 kilo of calcium to 4 kilos of pulp. To harden the mixture, we will need to add this, calcium carbonate. Can you help me? Okay. The calcium acts like a glue, which binds together and hardens the mixture. The mixture is poured into molds and is put into the ovens to dry. The dried mixture is now solid and can be used for furniture making or housing projects. How much does this cost? Well, compared to this, a normal wood, with the length of 1 meter, the height of 0 0.5 meter, and the width of 0 0.5 meter, this wood costs about 8 but Kasiku only offers about six dollars. Wow, how interesting! With Kasiku, we not only are able to reduce the use of timber, but also recycling paper. With our product, we hope to educate students and youth to be creative, innovative, and make, make the, the world, world a, a better, better place. place. Kasiku. Trash viewers for!